kids, it's your teacher, it's Tori, and I'm here today to show you a little bit of something that you can do at home while you're stuck there. It's a lot of fun, and my grandkids already did this at home this morning. And all you need is some white vinegar, some baking soda, and some food color. And you can take a little bit of your white vinegar and pour it into your cups. And this is where you're going to add your food color, and it's the same way that you would do it if you were coloring your Easter eggs at home. So, I filled up my little containers. You can use glasses, you can use whatever you have that will hold your white vinegar for you. And you're going to take your food color and you're gonna add it to your white vinegar. So we have some yellow coming. We'll do some green. Woo, maybe you don't need that much color. I just used a little bit too much color. And maybe your mom and dad should help you with it because you might get color all over your fingers. It's yucky. And we got blue. So you're mixing your food color together with your white vinegar. And you're going to take your baking soda and you're going to put it in your container. And it's kind of crumbly, so you can mix it up with your hands and you can feel how soft it is. It feels like glacier sand. I bet you've been to the glacier. So you take that. And when I went to Fred Meyer's this morning, they sell these little droppers. So we have these little droppers that you use and they look like eyedroppers. And you take some of your color. I'll take blue and yellow. And Sophia, you want to bring it over here so that the kids can see what's going to happen in here? Mm -hmm. And when you add it to your baking soda, look at what it does. Can you get a close up? Is that close? Mm -hmm. You see how it fizzes, kids? Look at that. Now watch. If I use the same color blue and yellow and I mix them together in the baking soda, we can make green. Mine's not mixing very well. But you can see what kind of fun you can have with this. And it just sizzles. It makes a fizzy noise that you can hear. And you can add more. You don't have to use just a little bit. You can add more and then you can keep adding and adding your colors and you can make your own rainbow. See it fizz and sizzle? I think you should try it. And you can do what my grandkids did. You can use a big, giant turkey baster and you can watch it explode like a big erupting volcano and have so much fun. So, while you go and get your stuff together, I'm going to keep playing in this for a little while, and I hope to see you at school, and you take care of yourself. Be good. Listen to your mom. Bye.